Hey guys, this is Sonia. I'm coming to show you a new journal. This is E's journal. This is my mother-in-law's yearly journal that I created for her for her um, prayer journal. Um, it is a beach side journal. It has um, kind of play on all the things that she loves from the beach, antiques, vintage, um, even down to the little things like birds, things like that. So let's try to run through it right quick. Right, right. Okay. Uh, you can see that it has the antique laces, the vintage, different things like that. But it also has an outdoor fabric on it because she loves being outdoors. It has a coral reef vintage but not it. it has an outdoor fabric that's coral reef actually on it. Probably can see it better back here too. It's on it. You can see the wide piece on the side, the spine, all the trims. See it from the side. The closure is actually a small ornate piece that is actually elastic, but I have um, glued over that small lace piece to decorate the front and the back piece. This little side four piece I have um, just a so piece layered over the top of it. Let's see, we'll untie it right here on the side and try to go through it. That's like specifically made it where it would fold out on the side here. It has these beautiful ornate trims here. It's antique vintage through here. Closer, little tassel dangles here. All these trims here, me found. Um, these were actually purchased from Esme Gretta Me Shop. Fold up. This has two small little ones that was created specifically for her to be able to write down. Little, um, got down little notes that needs, she needs to or prayer request so she can remember. She can throw um, one of them in her pocket because she needs to and that way she'll have it to remember later when she goes to do her prayers. This is created specifically for her prayer journal and specifically to, um, she writes down all of her prayers that she does every morning. This one um, you can see that blue luster on it. It's a blue wax. It looks just brown. It's actually a blue wax. It's done on just a plain pink cardstock and aged out. And this ornate trim on it. This piece is actually a piece from my friend Neri. It's been cut off fabric. It's like um, starfish on it. This is a dry. piece here that's put in to make it look more like a driftwood and just made a little booklet for her to be able to write in her prayers on it. Again, lots of these pockets were created specifically for her to have those two books separate from the journal because sometimes she doesn't like to write on these pieces. So this is a digital print specifically um, seaside beach thing. And this is stenciled. Folded over. She was a teacher. So I actually have these on flashcards. You'll see those throughout. Also, um, her grandchildren, my daughters, 
went to the um, Dollar Tree with me this Christmas specifically to find things to incorporate in here as well. So you'll see those throughout also to um, be able to contribute to the journal also this uh, Christmas for her. And this is primary paper because, again, she was a teacher. She taught um, first in kindergarten. So at that time, they were using primary paper in first grade. So that's why um, it's located in here, not just because of the trunk journal, but because of that, um, her teaching those grades. So it's stamped with the dunes. And this is just an actual fill with the journal in there. These little journal cards here, this all this lace and trim from Ms. May Shop, Craft Me Shop. All the way down to the lighthouses, the little pearls up here from the lighthouses came from some of the excess of these trims on the front. And then there's journal cards just glued on to back of it is just little line cards in and this is actually like I said here just a, a bill flipped around to make an actual pocket there's trims here from Esme shop in here and it's on an actual journaling card which again is the actual flash cards beautiful beach things guest checks so in the trims journaling card the front one and in the back one the actual flashcards you'll see the trims throughout it's just an extra piece from off of one of the other ones this is an actual altered paper clip right here with some of the actual um trim on the piece of the card stock As well on there. A girl with her little boy, her little boo there. And this is one of the little boxes that my kids found and I just cut it in half from the Dollar Tree to put in here to be able to use. You can see that it has a little gusset through there to um, put him in with some extra little journaling cards back there and then it has the little trimming on the front. And I love that signature pocket with some journaling cards. Same here, pocket with journaling cards. A little of that signature as well. The middle of this here, but <laughs> just some pages in general of that signature. And this one has an envelope here. Just another little journaling card with some trim. A little piece of um, one of the journal cards made into an altered clip. This one is one of the cards. These are some more cards as part of that um, original primary paper. And where it was actual longer, I actually folded it over to make an actual pocket there. Some of the cards that I actually cut to make an actual tag. Some more journaling cards. Another one of the stenciled angels. And this is a tab from some of the actual lace right here. And then this is some ticking that I actually stamped and then with a conch shell. Conch shell. You can see some more of that lace here. Another one of the actual little tags here. This is an actual altered paper clip. Some recycled material here. Used to look more like the driftwood. And it also has the lined paper on the back so she could journal on it if she'd like. It just goes on the side. This envelope I didn't glue all the way through so that she could actually journal on this part. Take it, flip back over. Then it can be flipped back out and she can turn it on that side there. 
more primary paper, journal card. Use in his pocket here. Journal cards. Sorry, journal on a little tuck spot from the envelope on the other side. And I know this stands out. When it has a little piece of tool on it, some scrap on it. This stands out tremendously, but it's just a nostalgic type thing that um, for Christmas she tied all of our, our um, Christmas packages up in this red um, yarn-like, and so I actually kept a piece of it specifically to, um, of course, you know, us crafters, we in general keep everything, but specifically to be able to put back into our book, so um, for memory, so that's why I'm just keep it to make that red pop too. So in there. Now there's some more of the trim. This is a recycled bill envelope. It's not glued all the way through. So you can put um, that in the back. And she's got a journal card here. So it's sort of two purpose on the back side of an actual envelope. And these are some journaling cards. It's got birds on them because again, she loves her birds. Primary paper, not a journaling card. And then on the back of that, there's an actual another tuck spot back there. There's another one of these little boxes. It has the little gusset on it, and then I created a little hook from um, an altered envelope that had the little birdhouses and birds on it. I just left the handle on this one. It's the center of this signature. Draw a card in the tuck there, in that primary paper. This is some of the um, other things the girls found. It's a fat right here. I'll pull it out this way. It's the journal cards we used that are pencils both them being in school and her being a teacher this is some more of the items that they found in general back in the frame here right these are actually like they look like little popcorn you see the guts there and then i just cut them so i can use them in here and then i cut these two down completely so that they could be used in here for journal cards. They were looking for anything. Their mission was anything sea or ocean related. So this is uh, another journal card in there for. A little journal card with some ticking on the side of it. Red and white ticking. Envelope. A little journal card in there. Put it back, put it back in there for her. Journaling cards there. Journal card there. So as you can actually see that camera piece there. This actually is another altered paper clip. starts the third signature I'm just going to go through it pretty quick here these are just the envelopes here and then some this, this represents let's see it has the dunes and stamps on it but this represents her two boys she had two boys and then I supplied her with all the girls she needed her granddaughters four of them so she needs she needed no more daughters <laughs> between a daughter-in-law and, and four granddaughters. Primary paper. More journaling cards. More journaling cards. Another little one. Signature center. 
more journaling thoughts more journaling thoughts and this is an altered book page that I made into an actual envelope and then I glued it to the page it's actually got a pocket back here and then of course the pocket here Another altar flash card. And then this is another altar book page that's made into an envelope. And then this is the back page. I'm going to move, move this one up fast like. And this is made into a deep pocket for her. And then this one is made into, this one has an envelope that's made where she can put small items into there. I'm going to actually see if I can't get this thing to hold up by itself long enough for me to be able to show you this one. This is an actual um, envelope journal that I created for her, Birdie Darling, the dry decoupage method. Both of those sides, and these have. Um, several journal cards on them but it's made where she could actually use them to um, send notes to her friends or give scriptures to them so it's been aged on the back side of it and that is a seaside journal i hope you enjoyed it and I have, like I said, several um, journals. One I've got to complete for a friend. My next journal then will be, I have one that I'm going to do, actually do a journal for myself. Then I have two that I hope to do for, um, or do to complete with Jen Bishop's new line for Blue Fern, the Bird Waltz. And she just released her newest line, at um, Creativations, if uh, you go out and look for Creativations, look for Jen Bishop Blue Fern, you will see her newest line that's just been released there as well, um, Jane's Memoirs, so I hope to do two journals with those also, and then I have a new friend that has just released a new um, well, she's a brand new to the digital world, so I hope to be doing one with her digital line as well. Um, so, yes, I've got several new digital prints that I'll be working with. Um, and But I first have a one that I have to complete for a friend first before I can do any of those. Um, so hopefully you'll see some new journals coming out from me very soon. And I greatly appreciate it. Thanks, guys.